You mentioned that you can't boil potatoes on Everest. Like they've tried to boil them, it takes yeah. a whole day. Why? We couldn't figure it out. Okay, so uh, what you have to understand is when you are boiling water, uh, mm -hmm. and for the sake of the argument, we'll say at sea level, yeah. where the boiling point is 100 degrees Celsius, you are using energy in the form of heat mm -hmm. to change water from a liquid to a gas. Okay. If you went up to 60,000 feet above Earth, which is mm -hmm. called the Armstrong limit, the temperature it would take to turn water into gas is only 98.6 degrees, or body <laughs> temperature. Which means if you were exposed to the mm -hmm. air at 60,000 feet, you'd feel the water boiling off your tongue and your eyes. What would that feel like? <laughs> um, it would feel like a sizzle. Yeah. Um, now, if you went even <laughs> higher into mm -hmm. actual space, the boiling point drops dramatically, and it doesn't take it. Water vaporizes almost immediately mm -hmm. in space. Now, the reason for all this is because our Earth, we know, has gravity. Mm -hmm. Gravity has created a spherical planet because it's uniform in the energy it distributes in order to create gravity. Well, that's what some people think. I don't know. Yeah, and it's <laughs> also holding on to the atmosphere. So the atmosphere has a weight just like Earth and dirt does. It's perhaps easiest to understand that, like, the deeper you go in the ocean, the higher the mm -hmm. pressure gets. Yeah. Same thing with our atmosphere. Think of our atmosphere as an ocean, where the pressure at the top is very low, mm -hmm. but at the bottom, i.e. here on Earth, it's higher. Mm -hmm. And that pressure presses on liquid water. And it means that it's harder to turn the water from a liquid to a gas. It takes mm -hmm. more energy. Yeah. And it's literally because of that column of air that's sitting above the teapot weighs uh, a few <laughs> dozen pounds. Here's another way to think about it. If you, uh, if you take a, uh, a bottle of champagne and mm -hmm. you put your thumb over it while you shake it, it's going to squeeze out and yeah. spray all over the place. But if you really held your hand on top of it tight and shook it, <laughs> you would be able to keep it probably inside the <laughs> bottle. Longer, yeah. So that pressure, <laughs> the extra pressure you're putting is the extra pressure of the atmosphere. So the lack of pressure at the top of Everest, where water boils at 170 degrees Fahrenheit mm -hmm. or 70 degrees Celsius, 160 degrees Fahrenheit, means that... The boiling point of water is too low to mm. tenderize a potato. That's crazy. It takes less energy to boil water. Therefore, there's less energy to transform the potato from something like that you can't <laughs> eat to something soft that you can. <laughs> like a starchy apple. Yeah. There's yeah. actually diary entries of mountaineers complaining that they boiled potatoes <laughs> all night long and got nothing.